Knuckles and his hunting stages in the hero story are to some a very acquired taste. The sprawling, non-linear levels and hip-hop aesthetic bring a lot to the table, and many, when they get here, are just not ready to eat. So let's take a look at the scraps they left on the table, and maybe even check out some truths about Knuckles and his stages. Starting out in Wild Canyon, let's discuss the Moai Heads. Not many know this, but these Moai Heads at the game's release used to be smiling. Though unfortunately, after the rapper on Knuckles tracks Haunted P started being scummy, they started taking on their disappointed neutral face. This level is also home to a really weathered sphinx, and it really stinks we didn't get to see it before its degradation. While many believe the Master Emerald locations are generated randomly, they actually are generated based off of how Knuckles is feeling, with this one being here due to Knuckles feeling like a fly on the wall recently. Right off the bat in Pumpkin Hill is a questionable choice by Sega, giving Knuckles the shovel claws in a stage that has a bunch of graves actually caused many youths to commit grave robbings at the time of this game's release. And unfortunately, that isn't the only mistake Sega made when developing Pumpkin Hill. Based off the way the stage is shaped, the level designers must have been given the name Pumpkin Peak instead of Pumpkin Hill, causing the stage to fall under the peak description way better than the hill description. The Pumpkin Hill Chapel is oddly missing its bell. This implies that Eggman mistook the bell for a Chaos Emerald and stole it prior to our arrival. Aquatic Mine is the water level of Knuckles' stages, but luckily it isn't really held back due to this. Though one question here hasn't been answered in all these years. What is mined in this mine? The implied answer to this question is found on the floating elevator in the center of the mine. The elevator houses the Pumpkin Hill insignia, which clearly tells us this is a pumpkin mine. Big if true. Big if true. Big if true. One of the various mining tunnels is the site of a terrible accident, where two minecarts had a deadly collision. Unfortunately, all the occupants of this crash were lost and are now the boos haunting this mine. Knuckles at the start of the game wouldn't have needed the air necklace to hold his breath for long intervals, though after inhaling the air from the Wild Canyon breezeway and the ghost train in Pumpkin Hill, his lungs have severely deteriorated. And speaking of equipment, Death Chamber gives us the hammer gloves which allows Knuckles to break iron boxes. Though judging by its orientation, we can definitely tell that the digging claws and hammer gloves had their suffixes switched late to development, because the hammer is where claws would be, and those definitely are digging gloves. The depictions we see on many of the Egyptian statues in the central chamber all look shockingly close to Eggman, plainly implying that Eggman assisted the Egyptians when the pyramids were originally built. The walls Knuckles digs through in these stages are surprisingly sturdy despite all the digging Knuckles does through them, thus meaning the devs created this subtle irony of walls that cannot die within a death chamber. And finally we made it to the long foreshadowed King Boom Boo boss fight. While this fight goes how you would expect, if you look close at King Boom Boo, he is weirdly missing all his upper teeth. This shows that King Boom Boo is very counterculture compared to the rest of Boo kind, ignoring his dental hygiene compared to the average Boo. Meteor Herd is a herd full of meteors, but also for some reason is filled with tons of empty shipping containers. What originally filled these containers before their contents were dumped into space was the remaining stock of unsold Sega Saturns. With how scattered majority of this map is anywhere other than the ground or near the central tower, many assume the platforms and containers were just placed randomly. Though as we know, nothing in this game is coincidental, and thinking about the stage's layout, it's almost akin to an atom, implying that Sega was attempting to inform the scientific community of an undiscovered element, with its atomic structure matching the stage's layout. While we all know of Knuckles' built-in intuition allowing him to locate the Master Emerald pieces, this clip also implies the existence of Knuckles also being magnetized to the emeralds, with magnetic attraction changing his gliding momentum. The final fight in Knuckles' stages is a final dispute over the Master Emerald pieces with Rouge. This fight is pretty similar to every other rival fight, except occasionally the ground below us gets removed and replaced with a heat vent. While Knuckles doesn't show it, this heat vent actually gives him extreme third degree burns, though due to Knuckles being built different, he walks away after winning the fight raw dogging the pain, healing flawlessly. And that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't hesitate to do what you feel to the video. 